chair? Get him out that chair and get him a little table now. A little okay. kid table. Oh, like a little dining table. Yeah, just a little kid table. And okay. we got two chairs. Well, he can eat at. He can just sit down. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be safe. And that'll be safe for him. Then he get up. And you know yeah. what I'm saying? I saw him stand completely up on the table part the other day. Girl, I almost lost my Girl, mind. Girl, like, yeah, so uh -uh, that's too much now. He, yeah. He, you know, now he's standing up and trying to walk and doing little Yeah. You have to see my grandmother. We are live. <laughs> What's going on, family? So, you guys, sorry. I had a little situation. You can open it, baby. Had a little situation, but we are back. And we are live. Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? Facebook family and Instagram family. As you can see, I am... Hey, Angela. What's going on, Jessica? So, we're going to talk about some holiday health hacks today and then we can talk about a little bit about you know whatever y'all want to talk about okay so i know you guys were sending me a lot of like questions that i couldn't quite get to last time because i was busy talking about just holiday stuff so um you can definitely hit me with a few questions today that is just fine all right so in talking about some holiday health hacks i kind of wanted to get into like um some of the ingredients substitutes for some of the things that you're really used to enjoying um like many of you i have i've had to kind of go back and look at some of the recipes that my mother or my grandmothers used to make and try to kind of remake remix some of those things to get that same texture or that same consistency or flavor and it has not been easy but some things i've been able to kind of really um really kind of finesse and even make new and more exciting dishes. So, um, hey James, hey love from California, what's going on? Yeah, so I've been able to remix some really cool healthy holiday dishes. So we'll let a few more people get back in the room. What's going on Hakeem? Um, and I've been able to, again, just kind of find certain dishes that I, I haven't been able to duplicate everything but some dishes I've been able to add new things to my holiday dinners and I've been able to remix some things. For example, um, my mother makes a cherry cheesecake that is to die for every holiday. I grew up on it my whole life. Um, and the crazy thing is she, she uses like the cheap version of cream cheese to make it. Whereas one year I remember we tried to use like a really like fancy cream cheese and it was awful. It was something about the texture of the cheap cream cheese that left like these chunks, cheesy chunks like inside of um, the cream filling that we really enjoyed. Like it made it all of the, the awesome texture that it was, which is crazy. Um, but, you know, to try to duplicate things like cream cheese, it seems like it's virtually impossible. Um, so, but there are other dishes that it's really easier. Um, no, no. Hey, Jay Black, that wasn't me. Nope, I'm not selling anything on Craigslist. Uh, <laughs> that was somebody else. Nope, no auction. I think you have the wrong person here. But welcome to my holiday health hacks. Um, <laughs> what's going on, Baltimore? <laughs> Um, I'm so happy you got that Angela and let us know how that turns out for you guys so hey for you guys who are in this group right now that have purchased your holiday meal preparation book and live videos I just wanted to um, let you guys know that I grew up cooking in a way where it, we didn't follow cookbooks okay unless there was like some very specific new cake or pie that my grandmother was making we didn't cook with recipes. Everything else that she cooked, it was really by just things that were passed down. Sight, smell, sense, intuition, spirit. Um, honestly, you know, I, I call myself an intuitive cook because I know how it's supposed to smell when it's ready. I know how, when the flavors are properly combined, what that's supposed to look like and smell like and taste like so you know I want you guys to also kind of get used to that I know in the beginning if you're just now especially crossing over into like vegan lifestyle maybe some things you're you're really sensitive about messing it up okay and so I, I totally understand that in that case yes you should follow a recipe but I want you guys to really 
stretch her wings a little bit even with some of the dishes in this holiday meal when I'm making some stuff like I, I get so crazy and excessive with the types of textures and flavors that I enjoy like even some of the dishes that I made for you guys I tried to keep it as simple as possible but when I'm making this stuff at home sometimes I I go crazy adding things I mean whereas I may have kept it to like a six ingredient minimum so that it's not overwhelming for people or maybe certain ingredients that you can't find that are not so accessible to everyone you know I try to kind of make the recipe so that they're just not too complex okay because during the holiday we got enough crap going on we're not trying to make these meals like super complex we want them to be you know tasty and comforting but again not too complex so just keep in mind that when I'm making some of these dishes um, I've got a plethora of ingredients and I am going ham just having fun being creative making some of these dishes and so I may add or subtract small things here and there to make the dishes kind of into something different for myself um, so keep that in mind um, even as you're going through your recipes and looking at the videos and things like that and I try to express that in the videos that um, some things that I'm making give or take I may add a little bit of this or you add a little bit of that you know or you know, you can exchange one thing for another so that's what we're going to talk about today in this particular video is just some alternatives so I want to give you guys a list of some of my favorite alternatives let me see here um, Hi, Janet Jackson, what do you say? Another wardrobe malfunction. What the, what the hell is going on here? Is this a, what is this? <laughs> what, I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Hey, Jay Black, we got some trolls in the room. Yo, y'all know I'm not beat for it, first of all. If you are trolling, which you obviously are trolling, get out of, off my page, all right? That's, that's not what this is, all right? So please, back up. I'm, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. So you will get blizzards messing around on the page. All right. Um, so I don't have a couch available. I don't know nothing about Jenny Jackson's nip slip. All right. So <laughs> look, look, don't, don't get me to cuss it tonight. I'm already tired. So check it. Um, some of my favorite ways to... I'm going to do my best to ignore these people, y'all. So y'all do it with me. We're going to all ignore the trolls um <laughs> we're gonna start with sweeteners all right because i know you guys are going to be making desserts you guys are going to be wanting to use some um sweeteners in your dishes so you're going to want to do some substitutes here i don't know about you guys but coconut sugar and date sugar have been a, a new thing for me in the last few years. I know a lot of you, you know, may not have um, access to them, um, but you can order some of this stuff online. But if you do have access at like a local health food store, get it, get into this coconut palm sugar. I'm really enjoying coconut palm sugar. I have found that in my baked goods, it is wonderful. Okay, say you were going to make a traditional cookie, like a um say like a ginger cookie which is kind of typical during this season i had a ginger molasses cookie recently that was ugh, to die for so a really good hack would be uh, coconut date uh, coconut palm sugar or date sugar to get that same kind of night it's a nice brown texture it's a beautiful flavor you guys it's like a deep it's like brown sugar so it's a really great replacement if you're making a dish with brown sugar um or you want that rich deep sweet flavor try coconut palm sugar or date sugar I really like the coconut palm sugar because it seems to just melt like right into everything but because we are getting healthy and we're getting off the white sugars right we're getting off even the brown sugar is no good all right so don't kid yourself also uh, date syrup um, if you're used to using like molasses in certain dishes um, go for some date syrup. Date syrup is wonderful. And I told you guys last week that that's actually one of the secret ingredients in my greens. And also, and anytime I'm making like a deep, rich flavored stew or soup, um, if I'm making a, um, maybe even some like breads, like if I were to try to make like a, like, um, like some type of like a 
like a allspice cinnamon currant bread like something like a rich brown sugar flavored ginger molasses type like a bread I would use date syrup but I've used it in um, uh, stews soups my greens um, in smoothies like if I'm making like a chocolatey rich flavored smoothie like I'm, I love a sesame date smoothie I will use date syrup and it's beautiful just as a decoration it looks like chocolate syrup all right so if you want to make something really pretty you know and it's sweet already you can actually take the date syrup and add a little cacao powder to it y'all heard that so now it's really chocolatey and it's sweet and it's black colored and you can just you know decorate your usually comes in a squeeze bottle you know you could like just spoon it mm, like all over something really awesome and make it really beautiful so um yes honey a sesame date smoothie you guys this is really popular in certain places like new york and la but like you could go and order a tahini or sesame date smoothie and all it is usually has a base of like coconut almond or hemp milk okay i prefer coconut and hemp milk myself and i'll take my milk with maybe i like my smoothies to be really cold um a little bit of ice and then i'll add my dates really soft moist medjool dates preferably you know really soft and moist i'll take the seed out throw a couple dates in there with my milk and then i'll throw maybe a tablespoon or two for me probably two tablespoons of uh, tahini paste which is made of sesame seeds so it's a sesame tahini paste all right and i will put that into uh, the coconut milk date mixture and give it a really 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 good blend I like to drop a little bit of sea salt in there I may even drop a little bit of allspice in there if you want to just really add some extra protein you can do some walnut you can do some pumpkin seeds you can do um, Brazil nuts all right you want to do this in a high-speed blender of course preferably like a Vitamix and give it a good spin you can add your little chocolate powder to it um, in the form of carob powder because um, that's how we do it over here in the electric kitchen and it's on and cracking Doesn't that sound amazing? <laughs> it's like straight-up dessert like all day long um, People add frozen bananas to it. I mean you can go crazy. So this is like a protein shake. It's it's full of nutrition uh, Lots of calcium actually because of the carob you got the date you got the pumpkin. I mean, it's it's just off the chain so um, date cacao banana smoothie yes so it's kind of like that so it's basically you know milk dates and tahini and that's what's gonna give it the rich beautiful texture you all it's banging okay so we talked about sweeteners coconut nectar of course is one of my favorites um, I, I also love and I'm gonna do this guy, uh, for you guys live when you sign up to the fresh tribe.com you can join our live holiday meal prep course okay it's only fifty dollars you guys we normally charge like two hundred dollars for this thing okay so it's only fifty dollars for the holiday and you can literally watch me make all of these holiday meals you get the recipe book to go with it i hooked y'all up like i really have like i put my love into this situation and, and i put a lot of my coins in there too yeah professional to <laughs> come and film it but I'm saying that you have what you need you've got your book you've got your recipes and you've got me live and I'm actually gonna as a bonus um, this Friday I'm gonna go live and make a peach cobbler a vegan sugar-free egg-free flour free okay peach cobbler that is to die for and yes I will be making a salty caramel sauce did y'all hear that yeah yeah a salted caramel sauce to just ooze all down on top i can't talk about food with y'all this is very intimate right who's turned on i am <laughs> i can't i told my husband the other day i was like you know what? i don't know if i like to go out to eat with you anymore because you know this is this is intimate for me like i cook at home like i swear like seven days a week almost seriously but there may be like that sixth day where i'm like look babe let's just go find a really good vegan restaurant and go eat 
And you know, I'm experimenting, I'm learning, I am getting inspiration, I'm looking for somewhere to inspire myself. And it's, it's a very intimate, like it's a very sensual thing. And I'm like, oh yeah, and the texture of the thing and the thing and the, the layers of the flavors of, you know, and he's just like, babe, I'm just grabbing something to eat. Like it's, I'm, he's, he's not there with me. And I'm like, you know, I have to call my chef friends to go eat because you, you're not hearing me. You're not feeling me on this right here. So, <laughs> so I know, I mean, I know I got some foodies in the room, right? Right. Let me get some, some hearts and thumbs ups, some smiley faces. No, I got some foodies in the room when I get to talking about this thing. Oh, God, it just, it gets real. Okay, so, <laughs> yes, breaking up with agave is the business. The only agave I may use when I ever use it is um, volcanic agave, and you can't find it anywhere, but you can find it online. Uh, it's pricey, but you can find it. It's one of the only... Um, like pure forms, not super processed forms of agave um, that doesn't have the super high fructose content. But nine times out of 10, agave is full of fru fructose. It's going to contribute to belly fat, et cetera, et cetera. It's not a health food, all right? But because of the agave plant and it being alkaline, you know, everybody's like, oh, what's well, alkaline, da, da, da. And I get that because, you know, technically, yes, but because of the process, it's, again, not a health food. Um, and this is what happens so often, but that's a whole nother conversation about popular foods getting so popular that major corporations jump in and the process changes and now we still have a synthesized form of a natural plant. Boo! All right, moving on from there. George, get the hell off my damn page. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, single mom here on a massive budget. Massive meaning massively awesome or not so much. Um, bless your heart, goddess. I'm coming through with the peach cobbler. All right, so if you haven't signed up for thefreshtribe.com, you can join us at thefreshtribe.com tonight. Get registered for the holiday so you can hook your vegan family up with the vegan holiday meal of their dreams. All right. Um, <laughs> um, we've got some good stuff and we're going to make peach cobbler. So um, all you're going to need for that is going to be some dates, some peaches, some sea salt, and you're going to need some uh, walnuts or Brazil nuts. Um, and if you can't find fresh peaches, it's okay to get frozen. And uh, you're going to need some coconut butter as well. Um, and um, am I missing something? Cinnamon. I think that's about it. So just get ready. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna get the the recipe anyway. So if you haven't signed up already, guys, get signed up. So uh, we talked about our sweeteners. Uh, we're gonna also talk about dairy substitutes because, of course, you gotta pull out the dairy products during this time. Now there is a product. I think I have it here. I think I have it here. Um, I think I've used it once because I don't I don't use like replacements for things. Um, nine times out of ten. It's just not my thing. But um, during the holidays, I do um, cheat a, a little bit. And there's and the, the cheat is so small and so vegan that people be like, really, that's a cheat for you? But for me, it would be. Um, so if your family is looking to do, say, like cornbread, because that's just, they want cornbread stuffing. They do not want spelt bread stuffing. They're not putting up with it. That's just that. I get it. It's traditional. So there are some things that, you know, you can replace in making certain things. Um, and there's some things that are it's just not necessary. But this is a product here called Egg Replacer. It's not a health food. So I, I don't really use it. It's not like an alkaline health food. And I like really fresh things. I don't like processed box things. But again, during the holiday... Um, I do get into using, you know, some alternatives for baked goods. So dairy is one of those things. Um, for example, um, uh, will I use store-bought milk? Yes. I'll get hemp milk if I want a really creamy thick milk. I'll get coconut milk, um, as opposed to making it fresh, um, because I'm cooking for lots and lots of people. I've got to whip it out really quickly and I don't have time to be busting open coconuts. You feel me? <laughs> I'm sure you do. 
So, you know, the, 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 again, this is the holiday, right? This, this is not your everyday meal. You're eating excessively because that's kind of what it is. And it's tradition, right? It's what people are going to expect for this one time. Um, and that's just the real. So milk is one of those things. Also, um, is there a group to join when purchasing the Holiday Electric Cook book? Uh, yes, when you uh, purchase, you also can choose to become a part of the Fresh Tribe private group, which is amazing. And it's our accountability group and how we keep each other motivated to stay on the electric diet. So yes, you have that option. If you look through your email, go to thefreshtribe.com, you will see that option. You can join the Fresh Tribe. Um, I think it's join dot thefreshtribe.com, something like that, but you'll see that there. We have a private Facebook group called The Fresh Tribe. All right, so um, with milks also, dairy products like yogurt that you may wanna use in a dish. You can get coconut yogurt, which is wonderful. If you are looking to use whipped cream in your dishes, which we will do in some of these uh, dishes as well for desserts. Um, I love whipped cream on everything. I'm one of those people, right? Like I can't get enough of the whipped cream on everything. So if it is a dessert, if, if it is a hot sweet beverage, if it is a, um, a pie or whatever, bring on the whipped cream. So coconut whipped cream is wonderful. If you haven't seen it, look in your health food store. It's going to be there. And sometimes it'll be in a Kroger or Publix. You'll be surprised now how many dairy-free alternatives. They even, if you can't find coconut whipped cream, they will have non-dairy creamers or non-dairy uh, whipped creams. Okay, so, so keep an eye out for things like that. Try your best to keep it clean in this way that, you know, at least you're not... Um, buying a dairy product that's dairy free, although I wouldn't consider it a health food necessarily. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we've got coconut yogurt, you've got non-dairy creamers and whipped creams, um, and then butter, of course. Um, with butter, I really, really like, uh, there's a brand that's a butter flavored coconut oil, it comes in a, a glass container. Uh, I wanna say this is the Spectrum brand. It's a glass container. It's coconut uh, butter flavored. It's a large, maybe seven bucks, a large glass container. It's delish, okay? Like really delish. But there's also a tub of coconut butter that's pretty awesome as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty yummy. Um, and you can also find that at just about any health food store now. So of course there are vegan butters that are like, you know, soy and they claim they're soy free, but they're full of like other junk and stinks. You know, so just, you know, none of them are perfect because this is still a processed food because we want butter, right? So <laughs> you'll see in some of the recipes that I'm using some of these dairy free butters. All right. Because it's the holiday and you ain't cooking without butter, baby. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? I'm trying to look through some of these questions. Um, mm. Okay, got it. So is the pricing going to be around for a while? Anissa, uh, when you say is the pricing going to be around for a while, are you referring to the Fresh Tribe um, group? Or are you referring to, referring to the, um, the holiday meal book? For fifty dollars, we're um, we're gonna have that holiday meal book up, I think, till January first. Um, so you can, you know, make Christmas dinner, um, and that price will stay the same. It's fifty dollars for the whole, all the videos, the recipes, the live, everything is there. Um, you you can see that whole shebang, bang, and the the food in itself, like the grocery list, is not expensive. Like guys, seriously, like. We're talking like some cabbage, we're talking like maybe a loaf of spelt bread, we're talking about like some butter, we're talking about like some butternut squash, um, I think we're doing um, some yellow squash, like this is like some onion, like it's very basic, it's really the flavors that are going into these dishes that are going to make it work, like you could literally have one cabbage, four squa yellow squashes, uh, one loaf of spelt bread and a butternut squash and like two onion and like pretty you know and, and the alternatives I'm excuse me not the alternatives but the 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 accompanying ingredients to make it all work like your spices and things like that like it's very that's what the holiday is about right it's like turning these amazing basic 
items into something really amazing. And keep in mind, you're not spending money on that big old turkey, so, okay. And my suggestion to you guys, too, is if you have a family, potluck this thing out, yo. Potluck this thing. Look, you buy your, you buy your meal plan, okay, and share it with your three or four closest friends that you all can contribute a dish, okay, to the potluck. Right, I'm potlucking this holiday. I'm not going home this time around. I've got stuff happening like back to back to back, so I can't go home this time around. But I spent a week there for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I'm potlucking. I'm like, I'm not cooking all this food. So I've got a crew of vegan friends. We're going to get together. We're going to play games. We're going to bring our kids together and have a good time. And we're potlucking. Okay, so don't stress yourself out trying to, you know, get Christmas gifts this one day and you know, food, and it's a lot. So do not overwhelm yourself because it won't be worth it and you will not enjoy this day. So it's all about enjoying your family. So do not turn this into something stressful. Get some friends together and y'all all plan this thing together. Understand me? Okay. Now, go ahead, new year, new you, baby. Let's get, let's do it. Plant base. Woo, woo. Um, all right. Trying to answer some of these questions. Losing weight. How to lose weight. No carbs. Quickest way to lose weight. No sugar, no carbs. Um, going through some of these questions, you guys. Um, <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. Yes, you get it, not a physical book, but it's a it's a virtual book with all the recipes that you will get. Not just recipes, but it's got other good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, I hook this thing up. You've got like snack alternatives, you got your grocery list, like it's beautifully laid out for you guys to um, enjoy. Um, who's got theirs already? Tell me what you think about it. Yes, purple cabbage with apples and currants. Oof, braised purple cabbage. It is beautiful, a beautiful dish. Um, do I follow Dr. Sabi's approved list? Yes, I do. Um, but I've also expanded that list along with my own comrades who are alkaline food research team. Um, Dr. Amsu and Dr. Amun, they are an alkaline food research team uh, called the Aboriginal Medical Association. We have been doing this thing now for about eight years and we've been eating this way now for about maybe 10 years. And then I've been vegan for almost 20 years. So um, I've followed Sabi for many years. I consider myself uh, a student of Sabi. He's not a follower, but a student. And um, I miss him dearly. And he taught me a lot. I was able to travel with Sabi to several different places and learn a lot to cook for him and stay with him in Honduras. And really, really blessed to have had him. And even as I was releasing my book from his home because I released the electric book from Dr. Sabi's home. I did not want to release it without getting his uh, blessing and his quote for the book. I just wasn't going to release it without it. He was the inspiration for it. And um, even then, I was still learning. And he said, hey, you know, release this book. And I said, oh, my God, I've, I put plantains in the book. And he was like, no to plantains. I was like, what? And I was like, I put Aki in this book. He was like, no to Aki. I put cacao in this book. He said, no to cacao. I thought, oh, my God, you know, I thought I had this all correct. So even he was still teaching me. And he even himself said, Aki, I'm still learning, okay? So be clear, guys. Like, if Sebi was still here, I have no doubt that he'd still be removing things from that list and adding things to that list as he is learning, too. So, um, you know, the, the brothers that I work with, the research team that I've worked with in creating the electric food list, um, also knew Sebi, also were very um, adamant researchers and students and have taken that legacy and we've just continued to expand that research. Um, and so anything that I'm suggesting um, is based on that. So yes, but we, we've expanded. Um, and this is, when I say expanded, I mean, you may see three or four items that you would not see on today's SABI list. You literally may see three items that, uh, that we've added and a lot of it also is because things have changed. Like say these lists may not say kelp noodles, okay? Or spelt noodles or quinoa flakes or kamut flakes, but that's because no one had manufactured kamut flakes, you know, a few years ago. 
you know so you know we're expanding it in those ways that now we also have more accessibility you know to more things we have coconut butter we have you know spelt flakes we have quinoa flakes we have kamut cereals we've got kelp noodles now we've got black bean noodles now we've got you know so some of these things we've had to add and expand so when people say do you follow Sabies list I'm like yes but we, we're expanding all right ah uh, do you or have you made coconut yogurt no because I don't do fermented anything you guys but um but again like for certain very specific dishes every blue moon I may grab some coconut yogurt um, store-bought um, as opposed to like trying to go through that process myself I don't I don't ferment anything I don't do ferments. I don't even eat ferments but um, you know for if a recipe called for uh, coke for yogurt that's what I would grab okay ba 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 we're getting down it's about 956 you guys thank you Danielle and moving on awesome Stephanie Okay, I think I got to most of you guys' question. Somebody said, Anissa said, will these be recorded? They've already been recorded, Anissa. Yeah, once you download your uh, holiday meal prep meal course, it's in a four-course module, everything's already been recorded. So you'll have access to those things, and then you'll get to log in and see the live taping or the live class of the peach cobbler recipe and the Q&A and all that. Um, so it's not going to be recorded as in like recorded so that I can, you can like, you know, get it later or whatever, but you can rewind it. You know, you can rewind it. You can watch it. You can slow it down and cook these things with your kids or your loved ones. So it's really lit y'all. Okay. So I think I got to everybody. Uh, beets are not on my list. <laughs> no, beets are not alkaline. Um, they are hybrids. Come on, take the pledge. Yeah, y'all better take the Fresh Tribe pledge too. What's going on? I want to see my videos of you guys putting that hand up and taking that pledge. We got to make some commitments in 2018. I want to see that Fresh Tribe pledge. I hereby commit in 2018 that I'm going to make sustainable choices to preserve my environment, my health, and my fresh. Ashe. Aho, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear. All right, I love you guys. I'm tempted to end with a song, but I, <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm exhausted. I'm sure you are too. And I hope you guys have a beautiful holiday. Like I said, don't stress. It ain't worth it. We're not moving into 2018 with the stress. Don't let holidays stress you. Just like no day should stress you. Don't let the holiday stress you because it's not that deep. Okay? It's a man-made construct that, we, that we're, we're, we're going to indulge in for the enjoyment of our loved ones who are off work. Okay? Be clear. All right? This is not about... <laughs> Be very clear. This is not about consumerism and stress. That's not, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to get healthy. Okay, we're going to inspire and encourage others to be healthy. We're going to get our kids involved in making beautiful, fun, and healthy dishes. We aren't going to let them stress us out. The gift is the time that you're spending with them. The gift is the time that you're giving to them, the attention that you're giving to them, whether it's sitting down, reading a book with them, giving them a bath, making a, a, a some, some cobbler with your child. That is the gift, all right? So be clear. We don't want to even pass that on to our children that, you know, our love is all about what we can give them that's material. All right? Don't let me get Reverend Dr. Chef Aki on y'all tonight. I'm trying to hold it back. <laughs> But you know, I will get real Reverend Dr. Chef Aki on y'all. So please, let's, let's not do that this year. Because again, it's not just what you're putting in your body, but it's what you're also putting in your mind and your spirit. So I love y'all on that note. And have a beautiful holiday. And I'll see some of you on Friday to make this peach cobbler when you guys signed up to thefreshtribe.com for your holiday meal prep course. See y'all soon. Love y'all.